During this coaching experience, you'll get to see the difference between manifestation and understanding automatic negative thoughts. Watch how the client begins to understand the power of ants, automatic negative thoughts, and how to eliminate them from his thought process. So Kyle, how are you doing today? Doing good. Good. It's so good to finally meet you. We had an amazing chat on the telephone the yeah. other day, and it was so um, amazing to talk with you. I'm so excited about working with you today, and um, you just seem like you just really have some amazing ideas. Yeah. yeah? Is that is that true? Yep. I'm ready. Yeah. So. Yeah. I picked up on that right away um, because you just seem like there's a lot of stuff that you're brewing in your life and I um, definitely am good at that, at helping people um, manifest their goals and be able to move forward in what it is that you want to do in your life. Isn't that kind of what you're here to do? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. So we're going to work on a tool today and um, the tool that we're working on is the tool of um, manifestation. Okay. And you've come to the right place because I am an amazing manifester. And I don't know if you uh, heard that or why you called, but that's definitely one of my specialties is manifestation. Okay. Um, and so what I wanted to ask you um, today is, um, have you ever been coached before? I haven't, this is my first time. Is it? Mm -hmm. Okay, are you nervous or? It's kind of new to me, so. Yeah, yeah. okay, and that's pretty um, normal. Um, don't, you know, it's like so expected to not um, feel comfortable right away because, um, this is a new thing and um, definitely not a counselor, I'm, more, I'm definitely a coach. Okay. And what I'm gonna be doing today is I'm gonna be helping you discover the answers that are within you and I know that you have all the answers within you. And so my job is to ask you those questions that you wouldn't ask yourself okay. and to be able to help you then move you forward and to get you to where you wanna go. Mm -hmm. So how does that feel for you? Sounds good. All right, yeah. good, okay. So there's um, a process I'm going to take you through today, okay. and the bigger component is, is I have a tool I'm going to work with you today on, and we'll get into that in a minute. But what I wanted to know is one of the first things that a coach does is that we, um, we want to bring you into the now, which mm -hmm. means that I want to center you and bring you into the space of being able to just kind of relax and let everything go that's going on in your mind, all that chatter and let it just go, and so that way we're able to really focus and be in the now, and I'm gonna meet you in the now, we're gonna move forward. Okay. So how does that feel for you? Good. Okay, yeah. so when I say to you, how do you um, center yourself and bring yourself into the now, does that make sense to you? Mm-hmm, okay. yeah. And how would you do that? How would you bring yourself into the now? How would you bring yourself into that space? I really just close my eyes and take a few deep breaths. Okay. okay. So when, while you're doing that then, I'm going to do the exact same thing, um, do it okay. my way, and then I'll meet you back in the middle when you're ready to go. So go ahead and just center yourself, and then when you're ready, we'll go ahead and begin. Okay. All right, good. Good? Yeah. All right. Sounds good. So before we start, um, is there anything that you want to get off your chest before we begin today? In a good state. So yeah. Yeah, I think I'm ready. Nothing's bothering you. Nothing's on your mind. You're just ready to roll. Yeah. Okay. So are you excited about doing this? I am. Okay. I'm really excited. I'm really, really, um, I'm, I know that we're going to get to a really good place today. And the thing I want to start with and just tell you before we really begin is I know that whatever we end up with today is mm -hmm. perfect. Okay. and that I'm gonna leave you with more than when you began today. Mm. So does that feel good to you? It does, okay, yeah. Okay, sounds good. So um, just, to, just to let you know, um, we're probably gonna be working with each other for possibly anywhere from 20 to 40 minutes today. Okay. Um, and when the session's almost over, I'll kind of give you a heads up and let you know when that's mm -hmm. gonna be, so we can kind of bring it to a close. Okay. And so, is that good? Yeah. Okay, sounds good, I'm excited. Okay, so what I would like to do is I'm going to work with you on a tool today, and the tool is called um, Manifestation. Okay. And um, it's really about you um, going to this um, place of what is it, Kyle, that you want to manifest in your life? And I know a lot of people have a lot of ideas of what they want in their life, mm -hmm. but my job is to help you go from being little to really big. Okay. So how does that feel for you? Good. Yeah. yeah. Do you do you have a thought around that about 
what it is that you really want to manifest in your life? I have a couple. Okay. Yeah. And before we start with that, I want to just throw something at you and I want you to tell me what you hear in this. Okay. So we have an idea of what it is that I, I kind of give meeting you where you are. So what if I said to you this, that thoughts have legs and they go out and they find themselves mm. and they bring them back to you as your reality. What does that do for you? It's really interesting, actually. Yeah? Tell me about it. Thoughts have legs. So it's kind of like what you think of kind of creates mm. type of feel to it, I guess. OK. Yeah. So keep going with that. Tell me more about that. So I've only heard of manifestation a few times. So I guess it's when you think of something, you know, it goes out into the world and then kind of manifests itself, I guess. Yeah. And let me repeat, let me reframe it in a different way and see how this feels for you. So if you begin to realize that your words are containers that hold your future, you'll be more selective in what you say. Mm. So it's this idea that whatever you put out into the universe, everything you say okay. is going to come back to you as your reality. Mm -hmm. So does that make sense? Yeah. I like that. <laughs> so you, yeah, it's pretty cool. And you build your entire life and you basically cut your life down or you build your life mm. through the words that you're saying into the universe. How it is that you're speaking in the world mm. comes back to you like a boomerang. So, yeah. so what I want to work with you today on is really tapping into that concept and knowing that whatever we speak today is going to be reality for you. And that's an exciting thought, don't you think? Absolutely. Yeah, because it's like amazing because you have the power mm -hmm. to be able to manifest whatever it is by the things that you speak. So what I want to go ahead and do is I want to go ahead and um, move forward with this. And we're going to um, begin to just play with okay. um, this tool called manifestation and be able to help you manifest your dreams. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I would imagine you have um, something that you want to manifest in your life. And are you familiar with the word manifestation? Yeah, for the most part. Okay. What does it mean to you? Hmm. I guess it's just, I guess it's kind of hard to uh, explain it without using the word, just manifest, okay. uh, create, mm -hmm. and yeah, I guess create. So life. create, mm -hmm. okay. So to manifest is to create. And um, do you really, do you believe that by manifestation, the word manifestation is to be able to tap into your greatest dreams and desires and be able to really hone in to that part of you that really wants to do something amazing in your life yeah. and go bigger, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's just talk with this and I want to know this. What do you really mm -hmm. want to manifest in your life? And I'm just going to do some writing here and I want to know what it is that you really want to manifest in your okay. life. What is that? Well, I'd, I'd like to take the coaching program here hmm. and get through it, I guess. I think that would be a good step. Hmm. Okay, so you want to start taking the life coaching program here at Sweeha? Yeah. And then get through it. Yeah. So just get by, is what mm -hmm. I'm hearing. Okay, that's fine. So what else do you want to do? Um, well, I guess it'd be great to have a practice after you get through it. So. Okay, and then have a, a practice. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then anything else that you'd like to create and manifest in your life around this? It sounds like it's you're kind of encapsulating this about being a life coach. So you're coming to a life coach to actually learn how to be a life coach. Yeah. That's pretty cool. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And that makes sense. So what other things do you want to do? Well, I like working with people. Mm -hmm. um, so I guess it'd be great to start some workshops afterwards. Okay. So work with people and do workshops. Yeah. Okay. I love that. Perfect. Okay. Very good. Anything else that you'd like to do? Push me a little bit. Okay. <laughs> So I'm just curious because you've told me so far that you'd like to um, be taking the coaching program here at the Southwest yeah. Institute of Healing Arts. You also would like to create a practice once you're finished with the um, life coaching program. You'd also like to work with people, obviously, and workshop. Now, am I hearing that it is more around um, that you want to build workshops more than you want to work with individuals? I think my skills are best used like with masses, so I like group settings a lot better than single. Okay, great. Tell me why. Why do you think it's more about the <clears throat> masses? I guess it's just since it's more people, then you're affecting more people. And mm -hmm. whenever, like mm -hmm. I've, like I'm 
pretty out of high school, you know, not too long ago, and I always loved working with groups, and I'd get in, up in front of people a lot, and I just love the energy feedback from hmm. like getting up in front of the class and stuff yeah. like that. So. I can tell. So when you said that, I could sense that there was like this part of you that knows you're sort of destined for sort of to be on the stage. Is that what mm -hmm. I'm hearing? Okay, perfect. So I love that. So let me repeat back to what you just said to me. So what you just said to me was that um, you want to take the life coaching program here at Sweeha. You'd also like to create a, um, a practice. You'd like to also work with people. You would also like to create workshops. And the big word you said is affect more people. Mm -hmm. Did you hear yourself say that? Yeah. You want to affect them. Okay. So is that big enough for you? That'd be a good start. Okay. But is so, it big enough? I don't know. All right. So is it possible that um, you could even get bigger than that? Mm. Yes. <laughs> okay. So what would look bigger to you? Like, just what could it look like? So you got the coaching program, you've created the practice, you're working with people, you're doing the workshops, you're affecting the people. How many people are in your workshops? How many do you see right now? Well, right now, I think like size of a classroom, I guess, 20, 25, 30 maybe. Okay, so 20, 25 people. And is that big enough? Because you said you wanted to affect more people. So is that your main goal is to affect people? Yes. Okay, and when you say, now tell me what that means to affect people. I guess just spread joy and happiness and mm. knowing that anyone can create that in their lives or manifest, so I like that word. <laughs> you like that word? Yeah. yeah. What's it do for you when you say that word? I can feel it. You yeah. can feel it? Okay, where do you feel it in your body? Right in here. Yeah, okay. Is that kind of, what would you call that center? What, what part of that is, what is that your body? What, what's it, well, I'm just, what is that? I'm just learning about it right now, but I guess, I think this is the heart chakra. Okay. Yeah, because, right. you know, the, the heart energy, I guess. Okay, so you want to, what I'm hearing then in, in a deeper level is that you want to be able to come from your heart when you're working with people. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you use the word that you want to spread um, joy. You want to spread happiness and you want to help people manifest what it is they really want to do in their life. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, Kyle, could you even get bigger than that? Yeah, I really? suppose. <laughs> okay. So I'm wondering because, I mean, 20, 25 people, that's a great start. A great start. Yeah. So let's just talk about, could you get bigger? I, I could see myself on stage with 100. I, like, that would be really, really great. Okay. I'd so love that. So 100 people, okay. And where would you do this, do you think? Where would you mm. spread this love and this joy and this happiness and help manifest? Where would you do it? Where would I do it? Yeah. Any place that let me. <laughs> <laughs> that, that works, okay. Yeah. And so is there like, do you, do you have a particular place in mind? Like can you imagine yourself like at the library or at the community center or uh, where would you do it? Where would, where would you be able to do 100 people? I guess um, like churches and community centers and even maybe colleges and stuff. Okay, that's great. And so I'm curious because I think that's a great start, but I have a feeling <laughs> that you could even get bigger than that. Because what I see in you and when I look at you is I see this greatness. And so I really think that you could even get bigger than that. Okay. So when I say that to you, that you could even be bigger than that, and I see this greatness within you, how does that feel for you? Special. <laughs> <laughs> it's good, yeah. It's, is it, it's yeah. just good, that's it? It's great. Is it great? It's okay, fantastic. fantastic. <laughs> it's an amazing, incredible, yeah. okay. And that's what I'm wondering, because I'd like to be able to spread that joy and happiness um, also to you. So. Let's just take this and let's say that you could get bigger. Okay. So yes, you took the coaching program. Yes, you're building a business. Yes, you're creating um, workshops. And yes, you're affecting more people. And we went from 20 to 25 people to 100, okay? Is this your life's work? It will be. Okay, I love what you just said. You said it will be, mm -hmm. which goes back to what we said earlier about that your words are containers that hold your future and their thoughts have legs and they yeah. go out and find themselves and bring them back to you as your reality. Mm. 
So you just said something very <laughs> powerful. Would you be willing to just to state that again, to claim that again? So it will be. It will, it will be. be my future. It will be your future. So let's say that it is your future. Okay. Because I think when you say it will be your future, it's like you're still manifesting that. Let's just claim it as it's done. Okay. So how could you claim it as done? As in, like, I am a life coach, mm -hmm. and I do have workshops. Yes. And I am affecting hundreds of people. <laughs> okay. And what else? I'm hearing one more thing in that. You are? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How oh. about I will affect? I will affect. And I am affecting. And I am affecting. Currently. Currently. Right now. Right now. And it's done. And it's done. How does that feel? Powerful. Yeah, that does feel. It feels really good to me. My whole body is tingle when you said that. Mm. That's like truth for me. I could just feel it running down my entire back. Yeah. Okay. You ready to go bigger than that? Okay. <laughs> okay. So can you take a big giant deep breath? And one more. Okay, so we're gonna go bigger, <laughs> we're gonna explode, we're gonna go farther than that, okay? okay? So let's, w I'm looking for that big answer, okay? So could you, can you, will you affect more people than just 100 people per workshop? I could. You could? Yes. <laughs> That seems very limiting to me. Okay. I could. I will, or I can. I, I am? I am. Okay. okay. <laughs> now, when I say I am, what does that do for you? Yeah, that, that's a lot more powerful. Is it? Mm -hmm. I am what? I am affecting thousands. Ooh, thousands. Yeah. Okay, tell <clears throat> me about a role model that you have. Well, I, I really admire Oprah. Oprah, Oprah. Winfrey. Mm -hmm. Okay. And she's an amazing woman. And why do you admire Oprah Winfrey? Because she's really spreading what I'd like to do, this word of manifestation and being able to create your own happiness and joy in your life. And how many people does she affect? <laughs> <laughs> I guess millions worldwide. You guess? Uh, she affects millions worldwide. Yes, she does. <laughs> I think it's more like billions, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, billions. Isn't too. she worldwide, global? I don't think there is. I think it's in different languages <laughs> and everything. Is that correct? Yeah. Do you see yourself doing that? <laughs> yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And when you, now what mm -hmm. I'm noticing that as we're talking about this is your energy is just shifting. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that? And you're actually coming, you're going to a higher vibration. Do you mm -hmm. feel that? Yeah. Okay, good. So let's do this. I'm looking for the big answer. Okay. So you are, let's just manifest this. Let's just claim this as your reality. You are a life coach. You've taken the program to become a certified accredited life coach. You are working with people. You are doing workshops worldwide mm -hmm. and you are affecting how many? Millions. Millions <laughs> of people. Okay. And where are you doing this? Where am I doing this? Stadiums? Hmm. Well, I, guess, uh, I think a good step would be having a book out. But tell me about that. Hmm. What's a book out? Uh, I, uh, maybe a life coaching book or... Oh, a book. Yeah, a book. Oh, I see. So you want to you wanna be a published author. Huh. So this is a new little twist to this. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So I think it's a really good idea because I think that part of being able to affect millions of people is to be able to have a launching. And a launch would be a book. Mm. So, okay. So what would your book be about? <sighs> I think it'd be fun to tie in spirituality and life coaching together. Okay. So spirituality and life coaching, is that right? Mm-hmm. Okay. And, and so do you have a name for this book? It hasn't come to me just yet. Okay. <laughs> and so let's do this. So I think that that's pr pretty amazing. So let's just, let's just, I want you, if you're willing to close your eyes for me. <clears throat> and I love that when you just closed your eyes, you took a deep breath at the same time. Did you realize that you did that? Yeah. Okay. And I want you just to, if you're willing, to just imagine in your mind's eye that this is your reality. And this is your reality. I, Kyle, am a certified life coach. I have a thriving, growing, 
practice where I work with people in the millions creating worldwide global workshops. I affect people where I spread joy and happiness and my message is spirituality and personal empowerment. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so how does that feel? Uh, like a my lifelong dream. <laughs> okay, you can open your eyes now. Is yeah. that your vision? Yeah. Would that would does that feel like your vision, your authentic vision of yourself? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So what <clears throat> I'd like to know then, based on what I just said to you, is let's name this. Okay. Okay. Do you have a name for your business? So when you're launching these workshops, okay, what is the name of your business? Do you know? Mm, I like. I don't know. <laughs> I always thought it, this is how I always um, sign my letters. Okay. It's uh, Shine, Bright, and Smile, and then Kyle, since that's my name, and I just think that's kind of powerful and it rhymes, so it's kind of fun. Okay. Now, it's interesting because I'm hearing as a de um, part of a life coach's job is to be a detective of language. Okay. And I heard you say kinda. <laughs> Tell me about the word kinda. Kinda. Yeah, kinda. Yeah, it's just kinda. Mm. What's kind of? I guess it's half believing. It's kind of weak, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so what is it? So, ideally, <laughs> it would be shine bright and smile, comma, Kyle. Okay, shine I, bright and smile, yeah. comma, Kyle. Yeah. Kyle what? Your last name, correct? Do we need to have a last name? You don't have to, it's just Kyle? Is that how you want to be? You want to be like Cher, Madonna, Oprah? Do you just want to be a one name? I, I, th I think it, it rhymes, so I like that. Say it again. Shine bright and smile, Kyle. Hmm. Because okay. I think my last name would be like kind of a little. Okay. But because okay. shine bright and smile, Kyle Hutchinson. Okay. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> so then, so is that the name of this? Is that how we're going to claim this then? Is that that? Can we name this? Is that feel good to you today? Shine bright and smile, Kyle. I like that. Does that feel good to you? Mm -hmm. Okay. What does that do for you? What does that mean to you? If I was just out there and I'm living in Nebraska or I'm living in um, Alabama or I'm in New York or something, if I heard shine bright, Kyle, mm -hmm. what would that mean to me? Shine bright and smile, Kyle, what? I guess, uh, I won't say I guess, I'll say I know. Thank I'm you. knowing. Good job. Um, when I say that, to me, it, like I feel it right here. And it just, the kind of the unconditionalness that anyone can shine bright and smile hmm. and just leave it like, such as when I sign my letters or something, just leaving that at the end, I think mm -hmm. it's a great sum up. Okay. So is this the name of your business? It will be. So shine bright and smile, Kyle. Mm -hmm. So let's just play with this for a minute. Shine bright and smile by Kyle. Hmm. How's that feel for you? That could work too. Could it? Does it feel, does it resonate with you? Mm. Shine bright and smile by Kyle. I don't know. Okay, tell me more. What do you want it to be? This is your manifestation. I like the comma thing since it's, um, because just keeping it as though I already, it's just signing it. Okay. So, it's, um, I don't know. It's just, it's kind of a habit of mine and then I guess it would be great to turn it into something more than that. Okay, so let's do this then. Let's go ahead and claim that and okay. let's write that down now. And obviously, as you move through your, your reality and your destiny and you build this, you can obviously evolve the oh. name and shift it and Absolutely. change it. So, repeat it to me uh, really slowly so I can make sure I hear it perfectly. Okay, shine. Okay. Bright. And smile. And then comma, Kyle. Okay. Shine bright and smile, Kyle. Beautiful. <laughs> do you like that? I do. I like it too. It feels good because I like it because you like it. And then as long as you like it and I'm here to help you manifest your dreams. Okay. <laughs> Whew. So we've gotten halfway through that. How does that feel? Good. Okay. Was this new for you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, good. So what we're going to do then is I'm going to have you, if you're willing, to be able to now list eight, let's just go with this, let's say 
four to a max of eight attributes that you would need mm. to have within you in order to manifest shine, bright, and smile, Kyle. Mm. Okay? Do you know what an attribute is? Isn't it kind of a... What's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> I don't know. You tell me. Uh, quality? Yes, exactly. Yeah. It's a quality that w is within you okay. that you would have to have in order to um, obtain your dreams. Mm -hmm. It's something that exists within you or something you'd have to develop. Okay. Okay? Does that sound good? Are you clear on that? Okay. So what would be an attribute that you would need in order to have this new business shine bright and smile, Kyle? Well, starting off, it would be uh, spiritual. Okay, so you I need know, to, have yeah. to, be to be spiritual. Okay, good. What else? Uh, kind of embody like unconditional love. Okay, I'm curious about something because you have a thing about saying I kinda. kinda. <laughs> now I'm just curious now as a detective of language, mm -hmm. as a life coach that I am, um, the word kinda is to me is very limiting. How do you feel about that? It is. <laughs> okay, so let's just, would you be willing in this session to eliminate the word kinda? Okay. Does it, do you think it serves you? Mm-hmm. Do you? I do. You, and okay. if, if, if I do say it again, tell me and then I'll change it. But what I really so. wanted to say, do you think the word kind of oh, no. serves you? Kind of doesn't serve me. Okay, because good. It limits. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. So, so, are we going to yeah. eliminate the word kind of? We will. Okay, from your vocabulary, at least during the session. Yeah. Okay, and would you be willing to make that as a new reality for you that you don't speak the word kind into the universe? Absolutely. Okay, because if you speak the word kind into the universe, what does that do? I guess it's saying, oh, I guess he only kind of wants to manifest mm -hmm. this yeah. and it might not happen. It's like you're begging or something, right? Mm -hmm. It's just like more about, let's just claim this and just decide what it is that you really, really want in your life. Okay. Okay? So. You said spiritual. What other attributes would you need to have to obtain this? So embody unconditional love. Okay. Unconditional love. Mm-hmm. All right. You're doing good. What else? Uh, compassion. Okay. Beautiful. You're doing excellent. Anything else that you can think of? Like shine bright and smile like that's it's really optimistic, so mm -hmm. keeping that optimism. Okay, so optimism. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, good. What else? Mm. I like that you just, you just took a breath and went into yourself. So if you're willing to do that, that helps you. You can go ahead and just take that breath and okay. go within your place of knowing and find that answer. And through the breath, you will find <clears throat> that answer. So we have spiritual, unconditional love compassion, and optimism. Right. Anything else that you would need, attribute that you would need in order for you to become shine, bright, and smile, Kyle? Something to do with like a driving force to keep me, I guess the, such as motivation. Motivation. So you need to be motivated or mm -hmm. have motivation? Keeping the inspiration going. Okay, so I think that's two different things. Yeah. What do you think? So can we put down motivation? Mm -hmm. Okay, so to have, we need motivation and inspiration. Okay. Okay. How does that feel for you? I like that. Okay, so great. Should we stop there? I think that's, that's good. good. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what you just showed me and <clears throat> what you just told me was that in order for you to create shine, bright, and smile, Kyle, and I almost want to say incorporated, <laughs> business, um, life coaching seminar, workshop um, business, whatever that would be, and we'll, you can work on that deeper as you okay. move through this, and we'll be able to do more sessions and be able to work deeper with this. In order to become that and be that, you need to embody the attributes of spirituality, unconditional love, compassion, optimism, mm -hmm. motivation, and inspiration. Wow. <laughs> Does that feel good? Yeah. I feel good about just saying those words. That just brings my vibration up to a mm. different level. Does that feel good? Absolutely. Okay. I love that. Woo. <laughs> All right. I love it. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take this and I'd like to just um, move this to the side if we okay. could. Okay. And I would like to now move into 
talking to you about um, a mantra because what we're going to be able to do now with this work that we just did is we're going to be able to now create um, a mantra okay. which supports this vision of what you want to manifest in your life. And what's kind of a mantra? <laughs> right, I'm going to ask you that. Thank you for asking. So what a mantra is, it's a claim to the universe. Okay. It's like this, you speak it out into the universe and it is so. Mm -hmm. So it's like a statement that you're going to create that supports your goals. Mm. That makes sense? It does. Okay. So let's just go ahead and look, look at some examples of okay. what, um, and let's just, we're going to just take it real quickly and we're going to look at just some simple mantras first and then we're going to go into a deeper <clears throat> mantra that's going to be more bit based and work um, right off of these, this goal that you have. Okay. okay? So would you be willing to, um, um, let me do this, I'll read it to you and then you tell me how this feels for you. Okay. Okay. So a mantra um, could sound like this. I say yes to having my life work all the time. Mm. How does that feel for you? That'd be a fabulous thing to have. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's a possibility. I say yes to a career that pays me more money than I can spend. Mm. Woo, that right there. <laughs> Who Would you like that? Absolutely. Okay, perfect. I say yes <clears throat> to a career that I can help people. Absolutely. Yeah, and you said that already in yeah. a different way. I say yes to a career that provides me with satisfaction, fun, and low stress. I like the low stress part. Especially. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think most people in the world would like that. Low stress. And then last, what another mantra could look like or sound like, I say yes to a career in which I can enjoy the people I work with mm. in a healthy, positive way that feeds my soul. Absolutely. Yeah. That's a huge one, isn't it? And you know what I love about your <clears throat> manifestation goal here is that what really what it is that you really want to do is you want something that's going to be a positive thing for you yeah. that does feed your soul and in turn feeds other people's souls also. Is that correct? Yeah. All right, sounds good. So does, does that feel good to you? Do we want to, do we need to go any deeper with what a mantra is to you? Do you feel like you have it? Yeah, I think I got okay. it. Okay. So let's go ahead and create a mantra now based on what you just told me and using the eight attributes. Okay. okay. So what I would like to do is I'd like to go ahead and utilize this and let's just start off by saying I, Kyle, say yes to creating and manifesting. Shine bright and smile, Kyle. What? <laughs> so, I, Kyle, say yes to creating and manifesting. Shine bright and smile, Kyle. <laughs> exactly. Mm. So that way, when people hear this, they can say, shine bright and Kyle, or shine bright smile Kyle is what? Is it, is it, is it, is it life coaching? Is it motivational presentations? Is it, what is it? So it'd be. So speak it out, shine bright and smile Kyle, what? What comes from you? What comes out of that place of knowing for you? So what is it? Yes. <clears throat> it would be, uh, it is, a way to guide people. Okay. Because uh, I like saying guide mm -hmm. compared to simply helping because some people don't want help. Okay. So, 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 so let's say the average person out there mm -hmm. that's just like reading it on the internet or they're reading it in the newspaper and they hear shine, bright, and smile, Kyle, what? So it's simple. Let's just CCQ, which means clear, concise, and quick. Oh. So what's the CCQ of this? So people don't have to guess because I'm not sure what they're going to know. They're not going to know what Shine Bright Smile Kyle yeah. is. So uh, life coaching, we'll go with that. Okay. Or I guess it could be kind of like spiritual, coming from a place of spirituality and conditional love and optimism. Okay. 
but I'm not sure if that's going to be clear enough for somebody that the average person that has never ever in court ever ever heard of spirituality or ever heard of mm. motivation or inspiration that's true. because you're working you're looking for that person that doesn't know this stuff it's a secret but wants to know more so I'm curious shine bright and smile Kyle um, motivational presentations shine bright and shine bright and smile Kyle um, Life Coaching Incorporated. Okay. Do you see where I'm going with that? So it could be, it could be both. Such okay. as, you know, having it as lo the life coaching and the presentations and the workshops okay. and all that stuff. So say it and then, and then finish it for me. Okay, so I, Kyle, say yes to creating and manifesting Shine Bright, Shine Bright and Smile, Kyle. I want to put something life coaching. Okay. Should I use one of these? No, I think it would be like, Just, here's what I'm hearing. You tell okay. me if this, is, this feels good to you. I, Kyle, say yes to creating and managing.